Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss a conversion method. Okay, to prove the equivalence of Moore and Miole machine, we are going to convert a Miole machine to a Moore machine. Okay, so what is a Miole machine? A Miole machine will have all output displayed over a transition. So from a state on an input, from a state on an input, it produces an output and then it makes a move to a next state. What about your Moore machine? A mode machine will have output displayed over your states. So whenever a transition enter into the state, then the output will be printed. So we are going to take this Miole machine, convert this into a into its equivalent mode machine. Okay. So I'll tell you step by step here. So first of all, I'll start with the starting state. So uh, for the starting state, let it be as it is. So mm -hmm. We'll complete the output of the starting state later. We'll find the remaining transitions alone. Okay. So now let's start here with this state A. When the input is o, 0, it goes to state B. So the transition will be like when the input is 0, it goes to state B. And what output it produce? It produce A as an output. So when a state on an input it makes a move to next state on producing A as an output. So this is your Miole machine where the transition, the output is displayed over a transition and we are going to convert that into a more machine where the output will be printed whenever a transition enter into the state. So I want to print A as an output. Now where I have to add this A to the state A, state B. Okay, so I'm going to find the equivalent machine. So the logic should not change. So state A, when the input is 0, it goes to state B and the output it produces is A. And here also I'm going to have the same. State A, when the input is 0, it goes to state B on producing output as A. Okay, so this is your Miole machine first conversion. And likewise, we have to make all possible transitions too. So A on 0, it, it, we find the transition. And again, remember... Uh, all your transition diagram of Moore and Miole are DFAs. So from each and every state on each and every input symbol, it should exactly have one transition. So now we'll come to the next point of uh, state A. What will happen when the input is 1? So what will happen when the input is 1? When the input is 1, uh, state A make a move to the state. Uh, it has a transition to state C. So when the input is 1, it has a transition to state C. And what output it produce? It produce the output as C. State A, when the input is 1, it goes to state C and it produces output as A. So, we'll write this transition. Okay, state A, when the input is 1, state A, when the input is 1, it goes to state C and it produces the output as A. So, I have copied the same over here. Okay, it's very easy, right? Uh, but sometimes we'll have a complicated structures too. So, we'll see the remaining part of it. So, next... Uh, state A on input as 0 and 1, we found the transition. And similarly, we have to find the transition for state B on 0, 1 and state C on 0, 1. Okay, so let comes to this, uh, let us come to this place of B. On state B, when the input is 0, where does it go? State B, when the input is 1, it goes to, it is a self loop, it goes to itself. But what output it produced here, it produces the output as B. But what exactly is the output of like when I add this self loop here, what will happen? I want the output to be printed as B, but I have the output here as A. So we cannot change it since it is copied from this A transition. So what can be done at this place is instead of putting a self loop, we are going to create a new state with the same name of B and it produces output as B. Okay. So whenever a B has zero in your, in its input when b takes 0 then it produces output as b and stay in b itself so i created a new state for zero transition i can give the name as like i take it as ba and bb here so ba prints a as output and bb prints b as output okay so whenever the input uh, whenever b consists of input as a uh, 0 then it prints b as a output and it stays in the same state b so here also I'm going to follow the same structure. Whenever this B has the output uh, in, uh, input transition as 0, it goes to uh, state B. It stays in the same state or so it goes to the state B and produces B as the output. Okay. So we'll see the next possible transition B when the input is 1, it goes to state C, print A. Okay. So we'll see what is printed in A in C. 
it is a printed so we can directly con uh, copy this transition so here i'm going to copy b on 1 it goes to c and prints a so b on 1 as input it goes to c and c state will print a as the output so i just have a direct transition io got it similarly now a on 0 1 we found the transition b on 0 1 we found the transition now we'll coming to the next point find the transition on c on 0 1 so c when the input is 0 where does it go c on 0 it goes to here b and it prints a as a output so here also b prints a as a output right so i can find the transition here so b when the input is sorry c when the input is a sorry input is 0 it prints a as a output and it goes to the state b I'm cop I have copied the same here. So C when the input is 0, it goes to B, print A as the output. Done? Okay. Now we'll see the remaining part transition here. Now C when the input is 1. Where does it go? It is a self loop. But what output it prints? It prints the output as B. But what exactly C prints here? A. Okay. It is not allowed, right? Like I cannot use self loop structure here. The reason here reason is... Uh, here this C actually prints A as the output. So what I have to do, I have to create a new state as uh, CB which prints B as the output. This I can take it as CA. Now C when the input is 1, it goes to this new state CB and here it prints B as the output. Okay, so whenever you have a complication or you have this clash on which output that is printed, like here it is A, but I want B to be printed as an output so in that case i will create a new state for the uh, more machine transition okay so now what will happen here uh, we had three state actually a b c and we found the transition on a on 0 1 b on 0 1 and c on 0 1 but at the end what happened we got two extra states so even though it is an extra states we should find the transition on all possible inputs over here okay so now we'll see this b uh, now for uh, b b it should be considered as a new state. Now we have to find the transition of BB on 0 and BB on 1. Okay, so I'm going to take the same transition of B over here and whichever is related, I'm going to map it to that. For example, for B, when the input is 0, it stays in B itself and print B. So I can put a self loop here. Whenever the input is 0, this B will remain in B and for each 0, 1 B will be printed as an output. Okay, it is a direct transition. It is a self loop. Since I am going to print B as an uh, output, then I can have this uh, state where it prints B as an output. Okay, so now B, what happened when the input is 1? B when the input is 1? B when the input is 1, it goes to C and what output it prints? It prints A. So, where you have the transition where C prints A, here you have it, right? Here is the place where a uh, state is C and the, the output that is printed is A. So, I should have a transition from this B, B to this place here when the input is 1. So, B when the input is 1, it goes to C state and print A as the output. Okay, similarly, we have to find the transition for C, B also. So, for C, B when the input is 0, where it goes for C, B when the input is 0, it goes to state B and print A as the output. So, whichever B state has A to be printed as the output, I am going to find the transition. Okay, C, B when the input is 0, it goes to B and print A as the output. So, here also it prints A as the output. So, I can copy the transition over here. And what is left? C on 0, we found the transition. C on 1, we should need the found, uh, we should find the transition. So C on 1, where does it go here? It is a self loop condition and it prints B as the output. C when the input is 1, it goes to itself printing B as a output. So here is the place where I have transition to C itself printing B as the output. Okay, so I can put a self loop here. So C when the input is 1, it stays in the same state and print B as the output. Got it? Now check for the all possible transition. A on 0, 1 we found the transition. B on 0, 1 we found the transition. Again, B, B on uh, 0, 1 we found the transition. C, A on 0, 1 we found the transition. D, C, B on 0, 1 also we found the transition. Okay. So what's the problem that we faced over here? When we are converting a Moore machine to a Miole machine, the number of states will remain as it is. There is no change in the state. The reason because uh, the reason why we have no change in state is uh, the transition will have the output printed. 
but here in the case of more, more machine when you are converting merely to more machine we have a number of states increased okay so the number of states that a more machine is created out of a merely machine will be more the reason is each state is attached with the input so when you are attaching a, a state with the output to be printed you have a lot of possible states that can be created so how many number of states that can be created here when I have a merely machine of n number of states and when I have a merely machine of x number of output to be printed, so total number of the maximum number of a state and a more machine, uh, the equivalent more machine can have will be n into x. Okay, so why I am saying n into x is uh, here in this example, my output consists of a and b. Okay, since I am printing either A or B based on the input transition. So, from A, I can have this A on input as A or input as B as a state. B on A, B on B, C on A, C on B. So, these are all the possible combination. I can have this. The number of possible states that a more machine can produce on. Okay. So, the number of state a more machine can produce on will be a multiple, uh, will be the multiple of the number of states and the number of outputs that has been given for the Muley machine. Got it? So, this is how we take a Muley machine, convert that into a more machine. Okay, thank you.